What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a phone that I know a lot of you have been waiting for. This is the HTC Sensation for T-Mobile. This guy packs a tremendous punch and really brings the super phone specs. So with a name like the Sensation, let's go ahead and see if it really is. Alright, let's take a quick look at the box. Here is the picture of the device. This is running HTC's new Sense 3.0, kind of neat. There's a seal, which I think is probably broken. Uh, we've got some specs on the back, 4G and Wi-Fi capable, 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. Uh, this is one of the new Qualcomm uh, dual core chips. Um, we've seen Tegra 2, which has been clocked at 1 gigahertz dual core, uh, 1.2, so this should be an absolute screamer. 4.3 inch screen, 8 megapixel camera, the rest of that good stuff, of course, we're going to talk about. Let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Looks like it has indeed been opened. I assume there's uh, some sort of SIM card in here. Go ahead and pull that off. Nothing on top. And here is the sensation, looking very Android-esque. Pull that off. It's much thinner uh, than I expected. You might have seen this guy leaked months back. It was called the Pyramid. Oh, looks like I just powered it on. Uh, it was called the Pyramid when it was internally at HTC, and it looks just like the leak shots. Push it off to the side for just one quick minute. Let's see what else we're gonna get in the box. We have anything new here. T-Mobile has been pretty good at including manuals, which I will throw on my desk. They're gonna live inside of that box. Start guide and the rest. You can see the boot up screen there. HTC's new tiny little wall charger. We've got a pair of stereo headphones and your sync cable, all the required stuff. Great and exciting. Let's go ahead and take a look at the phone, which is most important. This is something that I actually am really excited to take a look at. Uh, Noah saw this, uh, saw a preview of it at the, I believe it was a GDGT gathering uh, a few weeks ago. But this is the first time that I've actually had any sort of chance to take a look at the device. All right, so now that we've unboxed the phone, let's go ahead and run through the specs because this guy really packs some heck of a punch. Turn it on so at least you can see something. Uh, this is going to be highlighted by its brilliant 4.3 inch QHD Super LCD capacitive touchscreen. And what does that QHD mean? It means you're going to get a resolution of 540 by 960 with 16 million colors. And all of this is weighing 5.2 ounces. And I will say it does feel very, very light in the hands. I'm curious uh, what that QHD screen is going to look like when put up against AMOLED, Super AMOLED, Super AMOLED Plus, and all the other high-end touchscreens available right now. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's being powered by a 1.2 gigahertz dual-core uh, Qualcomm-built Snapdragon processor. So for those of you out there that like to benchmark, uh, this thing should be an absolute screamer. Uh, and bests what we currently have uh, from the Tegra 2 uh, built chip from NVIDIA. Uh, so it's got HTC Sense new 3.0, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick. Uh, it's highlighted by this new sort of lock screen. Evidently you can put little widgets there and you can unlock and do stuff uh, when you get there. So here we are at the, the home screen. Let me go ahead and continue to walk you through uh, what else you can expect. It's got a 1,520 milliamp hour battery. I'm curious how good battery life is going to be. Uh, four gigabytes of internal memory and a pre-installed eight gig card. Of course, you can up that to 32. Uh, Wi-Fi 802.11 B, G, and N. On the hump of this guy, you got a camera, obviously, with a dual LED flash. Uh, the camera is of the eight megapixel variety and that can record video uh, at 1080p, which is kind of neat. Uh, that's not the only camera living on this guy. Right there is a teeny tiny little sensor, which is of the 1.3 megapixel uh, variety. So you can go ahead and get your front facing video action on. Uh, excuse me, it's actually a VGA camera, uh, not 1.3. Uh, when these phones come in the mail, they come with some press release. You can see all that goodness. Uh, so it is a VGA camera, not 1.3. Scratch that. Uh, it's got a lot of other goodness in here. It is gingerbread powered. So this is Android 2.3. No Froyo, no Eclair, no Donut. Let's see, what was it? No Cupcake, so Cupcake, Donut, Eclair, Froyo, and Gingerbread, uh, which proves that I know at least the early part of my alphabet. Uh, which is quite nice that we are going to have uh, full gingerbread support here. Really everything that you could have wanted in a modern smartphone, uh, this guy is packing including support for HSPA+. 
On the left hand side, you've got your volume rocker up and down, sort of traditional HTC fare. Micro USB charging, you've got some microphones uh, on the bottom for noise cancellation. On the right hand side, really got nothing. On the top, you got your power and lock button located on the upper right. I really like that location, I'm, uh, I'm used to it. Uh, there's the VGA camera, you've got your branding across the top. 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the back was that 8 megapixel camera, the dual LED flash. There's a little bit of um, a bump right there. So when you put the phone down, you will have a little bit of a rock to keep in mind. Uh, there is an integrated kickstand here. I assume the battery is going to slide out somewhere from the bottom um, of there. I'll take a look and let you guys know where the battery is going to come from, where the SIM card is going to live. Looks like everything was already pre-installed. Um, ah, there it is. So this comes off. So we can do this live on camera. This whole back actually pops right off. Looked like it was three separate pieces, but it was not. You've got some soft touch here, a bit of plastic, and then some other soft touch. It's got a really nice feel on the back. There's where all the action's going to happen, and it's just one piece. Go ahead and snap that back on, or at least attempt to. I am not the best at getting backs of phones off, but I'm not as bad as Noah can be sometimes. So there we go. We got everything all back and working. Let's go ahead and run through the setup process real fast, and I'll give you guys a full tour of sense so you guys can see what to expect. Uh, this will presumably be coming to uh, all HTC devices. The sensation is the first to get it. Uh, so leave all your questions and comments down below or things you want to see on the uh, sensation. Let me do a real quick size comparison. Uh, so here we've got the 4.3 inch sensation that we just unboxed. Here is the Droid Charge, also 3.5 inch. The Charge is definitely not one of the thinner phones out there. And you can see sort of that size difference if you go ahead and stack them. Uh, if you want to see what a 4.5 inch screen is going to look like next to the sensation, here is the again the Samsung built-in Fuse uh, and the 4.3 inch screen just looks downright tiny uh, next to it. Go ahead and stack these guys. You can see what those look like. And lastly, let me go ahead, just powered on the Samsung, uh, let me bring in an iPhone 4 in case you guys are curious uh, how this is going to look, an upside down iPhone 4. So go ahead and do a little stack job. And if we make our very tasty smartphone sandwich, you can see all these size comparisons of these guys. But this video is just about the sensation. Uh, so anything you guys want to see, leave it down below. Be sure to stay tuned to Techno Buffalo for all the sensational coverage. Uh, and I promise you there will be very bad jokes uh, in the video. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and this has been an unboxing of the T-Mobile HTC Sensation. See you guys in the next video. What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here, and my voice sounds weird. Try this again.